All right, so pretty much a win is a win for the Raptors. As the Toronto Raptors beat the Cavaliers 118-107, and with that, they're now 15-18 of the season. And um, this is actually pretty good because coming off that win, because coming in tonight, you're taking on the Caps, who just beat Utah and Milwaukee. Pretty much some of the better teams. Well, one of them being the underdogs. The next one is the better team. All right. So we're feeling pretty good about that. But no, feeling pretty good. So let's talk about this game. The first quarter, well, technically, it's a little bit of back and forth. You took care of business with the uh, turnover on the on the Caps. First turnover, you get, the Caps win the tip, uh, and the Raptors take advantage and make it right, make a two pointer. Okay, it's a little bit back and forth. There's some back and forth there, back and forth there. Raptors make some shots, makes the Cavs make their shot. There's some twos and threes there. At the end of the first, it was all pretty good. You know, in the, within the minute to go, before the before the buzzer happened, Pascal Siakam made a half court buzzer beater to put the Raptors up by eight. So he made a wide open, he made a three pointer, and boom, it's in, and you're up by eight. Thirty. 39 to 31. All right, that's a pretty good lead for the Raptors. Second quarter, well, well it was all hell breaks loose because I thought, okay, so the Raptors are play playing with their hearts off. Okay, good. Let's keep this momentum going. We've, ma we've made sure what to do. We avoided uh, the Cavs from taking advantage on us. I understand they made some made dunks. I understand that's going to bound to happen. But the Raptors eventually put off the bu put off the buzz, and they, you know, torched the Caps in the second. And it, at the end, they're up 69 to 54. No, 53. 69 to 53. You're up by 16 at halftime. Last year when we faced the Caps, which was, of course, a Jordan and Raptors team, it was you were down by 10. Which they pretty much turned the changed the channel and then came back. We're down by ten coming into the third quarter. This time you're up, this is a much different story because you're up by I'm assuming. Let me see. Yeah, you're up by six. You're up by sixteen at halftime. So this is a pretty good win. This is pretty good. This is honestly surprising. Okay, so sorry one has to do its, do its thing, but, you know, in the third quarter, I'm like, okay, so the Raptors took care of business, they're just destroying the, get, the crab, I'm like, okay, I'm seeing the Raptors just killing off the Cavs, and you're up by 90 at this point, but you're up by 20 or 22 or so, and then the Cavs start coming back, and we're like, this is not good, we have to avoid this, you know, I don't want to lose my momentum, and hey, we're going to lose this quarter. We ain't going to lose this quarter because we're a good team. We've made some stop, defensive stops there. We avoided the Cavs from, from well, from coming, making a single digit game. And you're up by, I'm assuming, you're up by 98. Okay, 98 to 78. 98 to 78. You're up by 20. Okay, it used to be, it should have been 22, but at this point, I really don't care. It's a destroying game. They take care of business. And the fourth, uh, yeah, the Cavs start chipping back, and we're like, this is not good. Because you had that 20-point lead. And then, of course, the Cavs start making a two-pointer. And then the wide-open threes. And we're like, this is not good. I have a bad feeling that if we blow this lead, I'm going to crop the bet. I'm going to lose my momentum. I'm going to be so mad and frustrated that, we could, that we're going to blow this lead. However, the Raptors managed to keep pushing with their twos and threes. They avoid, they despite some travels and foul troubles there, they still managed to fend off. Eventually, thank God, they held on to the lead and they won back-to-back -back games. There's 118-107. You beat the Cavs. You get your second road victory. You conclude the road trip. Thank God, because honestly, yeah, it's a pain. It is a pain in the in the bud that the Raptors, you know, in November, the last time they won a play, they won a road game, again, it was against San Antonio, and then, however, you managed to beat a, a, a good team in the Cleveland Cavaliers, and you smacked them real good. Pretty good win for the Raptors. Let's go over, like, that stats for the Raptors, because, honestly, it was a pretty good, good win for this team. Stats for the team, 
they improved on the field goals and three pointers. 19 out of 37 field goal, 51% from threes and 50% from the field goals. It's a little better, not good, but it's it's a little better. The Cavs, okay, they're a little better on the on the field goals. They were, it was a 51% field goal percentage. Three pointers, oh, oh no, 33% from threes. Free throws, we don't talk about that because you're up. It's a 83% of free throws, and the Cavs now only made 60%. Total rebounds for the Raptors, there's 45 total rebounds, 11 offensive rebounds, 25 assists, 2 blocks, 10 steals, 18 turnovers, 44 points in the paint, and 20 personal fouls were get, were made. Of course, the Cavs had, had 17 personal fouls. I understand there was, yeah, that, that wasn't good. But of course, points in the paint, he had 46 points in the paint. They had 14 turnovers, 9 steals, 4 blocks, 27 assists, 6 offensive rebounds, and 20, 35 total offensive rebounds. So this is a pretty good win. Um, let's go through the players. I mean, the players were pretty good because, hey, we saw what we saw. Our Pascal Siakam had 26 points, 9 assists, and 7 rebounds. and played for 14 minutes. He came off that 52% against, against the Knicks at MSG on, I'm assuming it was Wednesday night. Yeah, Wednesday night. OG Anobi, 26 points, 2 assists, and 9 rebounds, and, and have played for 38 minutes. Scotty Barnes had 25 points, 4 assists, 10 rebounds, played for 40 minutes. Uh, Malachi Flynn, again, like I mentioned, had 9 points, 3 assists, and 3 rebounds. He was stellar. He made some threes back to back to back. Like, okay, this is our best player, really. Gary Trent Jr. Again, welcome back. Come came off from that injury. You're up. Eight, he had eight point. He had eight points, an assist, and three rebounds. And played for 20 minutes. That he's showing not so much. He, well, he had three points. That's okay. It's okay. He still had three points. It's still better than nothing. Disconnected. What really? Sorry, just the phone. It's a pretty good start right now. Um, for the Cavs, well, yeah, there was a lot of them. Kevin Love had 13 points. Seti Osman had 13 points. Donovan Mitchell had 12 points. Darius Garland had 17 points. Jared Allen had 11. Isaac Okoro had 15 points. And Evan Mobley had 10 points. So, okay, so far, they played all right, but not enough to beat the, the Raptors. And um, this was a good win. So next off, they take off in the LA Clippers, which is, of course, to, on the 27th. Problem is... Well, in, in, well, this is going to be a lot harder because now the Raptors play at 7.30 and the time in, that's what the time is. That means, oh yeah, right, 7.30 here in Toronto, far away, it's like 6 p.m. So I'm going to try my best to record the Raps and Leafs videos. Hopefully I can get that out of the way, get that off my chest, and um, yeah, just enjoy it. All right, so I'm Good break for the Raptors. We can still we can build this. Let's build this off. Let's build this win against Cleveland, and hopefully, good things happen.